Where's that treasure? Arg, what's up everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. Today, I don't normally do a mail call, but this one's going to lead to a conversation. It's going to lead to a conversation. So, for that reason, I have not opened anything you see here. Uh, but, I do know that it is all coin related. And I'm going to start with a letter I got in the mail and uh i haven't even opened it either boom old country coin collector look at that sent me a card pirate stacker thanks for the stickers here's mine keep collecting those seated coins hey now that's pretty awesome apparently he watches and uh, i did send him some loot very cool of him to shoot his sticker over Pirate Stacker, and it's dated. Very cool. And that's a neat sticker. Check him out. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, the rest of this mess. I have recently ordered a bunch of stuff off Facebook. In fact, I've been doing most of my purchases off of Facebook. Uh, I'm in a bunch of groups, and let me tell you why. I'm buying off of Facebook more than other places. And uh, what the deal is, I'm in a bunch of groups. There's a ton of coin groups. And there are loads of sales going on. And truthfully, you can see who the good sellers are and aren't. <laughs> uh, a lot of these guys I see with sales over and over and over and multiple and uh, and it's just a very cool situation that if you're in the right group, some groups are very active. I mean, these are groups of 20,000 plus people. And some groups are very active and some groups are not as active. And sometimes you see a gem like this pop up. And let me tell you about this. A big shout out to Carmine Antolino. Uh, I've actually bought several pieces from him, and this is no exception. So this is an 1877 Carson City PCGS Extra Fine 45 25 cent piece, and it's a beauty. It is just a really nice example of the coin. I just did my seated quarter video, and I had forgot that I won this coin. <laughs> And uh, and here it is, but it is a Carson City. Talk about collectible. And I got a screaming deal on this coin. Uh, PCGS books it at 300. I got it for 215. Pirate, how can that be? Now listen, some of these groups are really huge and they're very active. Some of these groups are very huge and not as active. And I've seen the exact same thing sell for double the money in some groups as opposed to the other groups. And uh, the exact same coin. And it really just comes down to that time and place. Were people looking for that? Were they buyers for that? What was it? And, uh, you know, I got a screaming deal on that CC. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Now, this here, I happen to know what this is. And this is a departure from what Pirate is normally after. And it is packaged to the nines. Holy smokes. They did a good job here. So, this was a buy that was a good value. And I picked it up. I actually don't have anything like it in my collection. Which is going to lead me to the next conversation of my collection. Uh, this is a complete set of steel cents. 1943 pennies. This is the Denver. We've got the San Francisco. And we've got the Philadelphia. Boom. $72.00. Shipped to my house. I got all three of these slabs. Why? Why did I do that? Uh, it was a great deal. These are worth about 125 in this condition. I got them for 72 shipped. 
It is a subject matter I like. I like the steel scent. I think it's a very cool piece. I like that it came at a lower than projected price of what it's worth. And this sets up my third conversation or my second conversation. What is my end game? What is my goal? You're like, Pirate, we know you're into seeded stuff. Why would you be buying steel scents? Well, let me tell you why. My goal is to, one, it's fun. I, I purchase things I like, without a doubt. That's probably first and foremost. I don't just go purchasing pennies. These are steel pennies. They're very cool steel pennies. I've always liked them. Uh, my son actually just started talking to me about them, and then I saw these pop up for a great price, and I was like, boom, I'm buying it. That's a deal. I'm in. And but but let me let me lead to my bigger stacking strategy right now. And what that is is I'm collecting stuff that I can resell later. Resell later. What does that mean? Well, it means my stack is not just going to be a static stack. It is not going to just stay put in a safe, never move. That's not what I'm collecting for. And this is an even further departure from where I have been. Boom. Look at that. An annex slab. Pirate. Why would you have three different slabs up there? <laughs> Truthfully, this is my first annex slab that I've purchased. Uh, this obviously it's cool because it is a coin that I am interested in. Uh, this has a value grade wise of around $120. I purchased it for 70. I won a good auction. Uh, I bought the coin, not the holder. This is a nice coin. It's a good example. It's an 1830. And uh, and it's just not a coin you see all the time. 50 cent, very nice piece. F12, we know what it is. And again, why? Why would I do that? So my plan moving forward is I am going to be selling. I am going to be selling my collectibles for profit. This is investment silver for me. Uh if I buy low and I sell high, I get to buy again another day. And that's exactly what I'm shooting for right now. That's what I'm after right now. Uh, this is my new strategy moving forward is buying the stuff that one interests me. So I learn a bit about it. I talk about it. I show you guys. This is cool stuff. I love having this in my stack. Very awesome pieces. And again, there's value. I bought well on these. Now, this one I could break out. I could regrade with PCGS. I don't think there's any reason to. It's slabbed. It's beautiful. Annex is a respected company. Can I turn this for 100 bucks or even 120 maybe? That's a 30 or $50 profit. Maybe not right now. Maybe I can right now. But I bet a year from now, I certainly could. Two years from now, I may double my money on that piece. That's not bad. And it, happily, I will keep that in my collection in the meantime. These guys, there's room. This stuff really comes down to the right buyer at the right place at the right time. And you're not going to be able to sell them to everybody for the price you want all the time. But if you have them... Eventually, the right buyer will cross your path. You will be able to sell for a purchase. And in the meantime, it's a cool piece. Yes, it's not silver. It's not silver. It's just a steel scent. So the value is in the collectability. And also the fact that NGC and PCGS slabs, I think the cheapest scenario is 20 bucks plus per slab. So you're talking about 
Just those graded, I'm $72 shipped on those three coins. I could easily sell those for probably $30 a piece right now. That's a profit. $18, bucks, no big deal. But to the right guy, I get all $120 bucks out of that. And that's a $50 profit. That's a good move. This guy. Key dates. My pal Fish tells me key dates and rare coins. Well, Carson Cities are highly collectible. We all know that. This isn't a key date, but it's a collectible rare Carson City Mint. And it's beautiful. Buy low. $215. Bucks. Valued at $300. I could turn a profit on this right now to the right seller. It will sit happily in my stack. So that's part of what's happening moving forward. Annex slabs. Do I love them? No, I don't love them. Although this blue one I feel like looks cooler than most of the other ones. Uh, I think that's kind of a neat looking slab. But I love the coin inside. And for 70 bucks graded, I know what I've got. And that's a good deal to me. I am happy with that purchase all day long, twice on Sunday. Hey, thank you guys for watching. That's it for today. This is a Pirate Stacker. I hope you liked it. If you liked, please subscribe, join, watch. I appreciate all the feedback from you guys. We've got a great big gaw coming up, and uh, I'm just going to say that much. But I appreciate each and every one of you. We will see you next time. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>